big NFC divisional game in Dallas. Terrell Get Owens your popcorn ready. Did have it ready. Tony Romo back from Cabo. Yeah. Uh, Michael Strahan's passion bucket runneth over, and there is Elon Manning <laughs> focused. First quarter, fourth play of the opening drive of the game for the Giants. It's third and six. Elon Manning looking for Amani Toomer. You see a flag flying in the bottom of your screen. That's for an offsides, meaning this incompletion doesn't force a punt. Instead, brings up third and in inches because Demarcus Ware was offside, and third and in inches is something Eli picks up. Well, you think you'd give it to the big guy, Brandon Jacobs, but Eli, go pick it up yourself, will you? A crucial penalty because oh, yeah. the next play, after picking up the first down, Manning finds Amani Toomer again, and this time Toomer makes a play, and he is gone. Big run. Running. Dallas runs to the football. They're well, a great tackling team this year. This week, they just missed so many tackles that led to this touchdown. Greg Ellis, the uh, comeback player of the year, and Anthony Henry on that missed tackle barrage right there, and the Giants are up seven to nothing in this game. Great way for the Giants to start. The Cowboys a couple possessions later with four and 20 to go in the first quarter back shoulder throw to Terrell Owens. That test his ankle because he had a spin on that thing and see if it's healthy. Two plays later second and 13 getting the start at running back is Marion Barber the third punking everybody going down the field. He is fired up after that 36 yard run and then Three plays later, after a false start made at first and 15, here comes Barber again. I, I love the footwork. I love the balance. And we know how physical he is at the conclusion of each run. That's blocked by T.O. downfield. 20-yard gain. Two plays later, first play of the second quarter. It's Romo to Terrell Owens. Touchdown. Tom Coughlin challenging the play. What do you think of the underhanded throw, Steve? Well, he got it out there almost to the numbers, but to no avail. That's a good release by T.O. <laughs> on Webster. He got them both in. That was also a good release on the red challenge flag. It's like softball Not throw. Not bad. So it is a tie ball game after the <laughs> play stood as called at 7-7. Seven to seven. Next possession for the Cowboys. Ninth play of the drive. Terry Glenn's first reception of the year is a first down one. And we thought we were going to see some more productivity out of Terry Glenn, but you know, it was very limited in this game. His first reception of the year comes in the first playoff game of the year for the Cowboys. Three plays later, 12th play of the drive, Romo steps up and finds Owens on third and seven. Fourth, third down conversion of the drive. Next play, Romo looks for Glenn, who slips, and Corey Webster does everything but catch the football. You know, it's not the plays that you make all the time. It's the plays you don't make. He'd love to have this one back. That's why Marshall Falk say that they play cornerback and not receiver. <laughs> Two plays later, it's the 15th play of the drive that continues because of that dropped interception. And Romo on third and 10 drops one into Owens again. 20-yard gain down to the Giants, 17. Two plays later, a monstrous drive continues as Romo fakes the handoff and finds Jason Witten down to the two-yard line. And three plays later, it's third and goal. And this Texas-sized drive is capped off. 20th play of the drive by Marion Barber. Touchdown, 90 yards covered in those 20 plays, taking up nearly 10 and a half minutes of clock. Couple of great long drives. Now let's see if the New York Giants can answer. All right, Steve, set this highlight up, why don't you? Manning to another Steve, Steve Smith. Big catch, he had four catches today. Came up big when Plex was a little gimpy. Next play, Manning. <laughs> Hit Steve Smith for an 11-yard gain and a first down, and then you tack on 15 more because Jacques Reeves tugged on a little face armor. And three plays after this particular yeah. infraction, Manning with ticks to go in the first half on third and 10, needing to convert to get perhaps a big touchdown at the I'm end of the half. You, Eli. Finds Kevin Boss in a beautiful throw, and then the next play, Eli jams it in the end zone to Amani Tuba. I believe in you, Eli. Seven plays, 71 yards, 46 seconds. That's how you answer the touchdown. Tie it up at halftime. And we got fisticuffs. They're playing the feud. That's a pin. Third quarter. First drive of the Cowboys in the second half. Fifth play there, obviously. Here's Marion Barber still going strong. This is why this guy's going to the Pro Bowl. Didn't start a game all year, except for this one. Three plays later, it's third and seven. Plus side of the field. Romo steps up again and finds Terry Glenn. Nice throw. A way to fit it through that cover two window. That's the, right behind the cornerback, right in front of the safety. Great play by Romo. Two plays later from the Giants, 25. Romo improvising, moving, running, taking it down, knocking off his own big hoss and gets a first down. <laughs> that makes him special. He can improvise like the best of them. Next play, first and ten. Marion Barber running.
rolling into Aaron Ross. That would be the last play of the game for Aaron Ross, who hurt his right shoulder. Cowboys settle for a field goal, however, and go up 17-14. The ensuing kickoff. Dominic Here is Dominic Hickson with a nifty return. 45-yard return to the plus side of the field for New York. Third play of that drive now. They're on the Cowboys 38 already. Here comes DeMarcus Ware around the edge. Yeah, I like the way they move this guy around. He's a he's a one-man wrecking crew. Loss of nine yards, two plays later. With the Giants down three. Three and change left in quarter three. Manning to Brandon Jacobs and Ellis with a big trip up of the big fella because it seemed like he was nearing that first down marker. Instead, the Giants are too far from it on fourth down, forced to punt. Three plays later, the Cowboys on the drive. Romo creating. Finds Patrick Creighton, who drops it. Oh, Took his God. eye off the ball. Number green grass in front of him. Sometimes you got to secure the ball before you start the run. A huge drop because instead of a big gainer for Dallas, they have to punt the ball away to R.W. McCorders, who has a nice return. 25 yards down to the 37-yard line. Fourth quarter we go. First play of the fourth quarter. It's third and six. Manning to Steve Smith again. 11-yard gain to the Dallas nine. First and goal from there. Ahmad Bradshaw, what a huge addition to this running game he's been. Gives them some quickness and some speed. A little bit different type of runner than Brandon Jacobs. And now, here is the genuine article in Brandon Jacobs. Look out. 265 Boom. allegedly pounds coming straight into your living room. Oh, look out. Uh, Shot clock. Oh, he got a light bulb. <laughs> Giants take a 21-17 lead with 10 minutes and 24 seconds to go. Throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it running away. for his life, and he's sacked by Reggie Torbord, a group of G-Men Cowboys forced to punt. Tony Sperano, the offensive line coach, giving the business to the rest of the Sperano's. Next possession for the Cowboys. Romo is sacked by oh, Kavika no Mitchell. No what makes him great also causes him to suffer. Next play, second and 24 from their own 39, as Romo could have thrown it away, did not, took the sack. Romo, with five minutes and 30 seconds to go down four, finds Jason Witten. A huge 20-yard gain on second and 24 after an illegal formation made it third and nine, Romo to Terrell Owens going deep, but there's a flag flying because Corey Webster made contact with Owens' face mask, getting off the line of scrimmage. Corey Webster was locked into him a lot of this game, one-on-one. -on -one. He did a good job for most of this game, but he got caught right there. And so uh, Tom Coughlin, not happy. Next play, first and 10 after that flag, Romo throws this one away, but in should have got it out of the pocket. First. Yeah, he, yeah. Is, he can't yeah. be in the box. He's not get the pocket. He got to step outside the tackles if he desires to throw the ball away. Intentional grounding. And that led to a Dallas punt eventually. Eli Manning needing one first down to wrap things up because Dallas did not have enough timeouts to stave off elimination with a first down by the Giants. Instead, they come up with a big stop of Eli Manning and a third and two later on as Romo gets the ball back. Flips the ball to Jason Witten for a big 18-yard gain in first down. Three plays later, second and 11. Romo, if he sticks it in the end zone, the Cowboys essentially win, but he has to throw it away. Next play, third and 11. 21 seconds left in the game. Romo to the end zone, and Patrick Creighton throws it too far. So it's the last chance for the Dallas Cowboys. The top seed in the NFC, who swept the Giants in the regular season, and it is picked in the end zone by R.W. McCorders, the only turnover of the game, and another Dallas Cowboys playoff season comes to a close without a win, and Eli Manning, as we said, is the last Manning standing as the Giants become the seventh team since 1970 to defeat an opponent after being swept by said opponent in the regular season, handing Dallas its sixth straight playoff loss, and the Giants now move on to Green Bay to try and get to the Super Bowl.